What's up party people? Welcome back to another gameplay video. I'm Killer Cobra Dude, and today we are back on Halo 5. Uh, I thought I'd get back to a little bit of a higher paced game. Um, Halo 3 and Halo Reach have definitely been fun, and I definitely will be playing them much more on the channel. I'll probably just try and start a rotation where every, you know, it's just a three day cycle rotating between all three of them. But today I decided to get back to Halo 5. Uh, especially with the start of the new season. How do the new seasons work, actually? For those of you that are big Halo 5 gameplay, or Halo 5 players, um, is it a monthly thing? Because it seemed like the new season probably started at the beginning of the month, um, but I've been playing Halo 3 and Halo Reach, so I didn't even notice it. But I would like to, you know, be pretty quick to jump onto the next season for Halo 5 because I would like to make a uh, champion for SWAT. I think it's one of the few game modes in this game that I'm actually good enough to be able to pull that off for. Um, and so, and I think it makes for some really cool gameplay videos for the channel um, to have some champion level gameplay. So if you guys could let me know down in the comments how the new, uh, the new season or the new whatever it is works, um, that'd be great, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so pretty pretty solid gameplay uh, About halfway through or maybe you know in the next death or two I end up picking up the carbine So usually on this map the gun that the gun of choice that I like to pick up is the DMR um, I just love the DMR. You know me Halo Reach guy DMR is awesome. I love it But I picked up the carbine and I was wrecking people with this thing. I mean I didn't know it was that as good as it is, I guess. Um, and I don't even know if other people like it as much as I now like it, but I just love the fire rate on it. If you've been around since, you know, like my very first videos when I actually started out playing just Halo Reach on the channel, I, I said over and over and over again how overpowered I think the needle rifle is in that game just because it has a faster fire rate than the DMR. And so when you're trying to zoom in with the DMR and land your shots and you're just getting obnoxiously peppered with the needle, needle rifle, it's like, I don't distracting, I guess is the best way to put you it. Got a man down. And so I think that the uh, carbine has the same effect in this game uh, because it just shoots so fast. And you know, if you're just constantly getting hit with those shots, and you don't really know like how to react to it, it kind of throws off the way you're playing. So you can see I picked it up now, and I don't like to really zoom in with it that much unless it's like way across the map. I pretty much just point in the general direction they are and just start hammering the trigger because I think that's the best way to do it. It shoots so fast and so many shots that if you just keep it ripping, you know, eventually shots are gonna start landing. Um, as opposed to like a DMR or, or a pistol, a gun that, you know, you kind of need to be a little bit more accurate with. You can really make people kind of back off of you with the carbine. Especially like if they land the first shot or two and you just turn on them and start hitting them with the carbine, they're going to go, holy shit, like what is going on and back off of you a little bit, I noticed. So it's really nice. I like it a lot. Highly recommend you guys start using it if you're not already. This is, if we're being honest, this is probably one of those things where all of you are like, yeah, no duh, dude, we all know that this gun is awesome. You're just late to the game as usual. But if that's the case, I apologize for sleeping on this gun. Um, and if it's not the case, definitely use it because I'm a big fan of it. Um, I also played, the game that I played right after this, there's another, there's a pistol that has like a similar fire rate to the DMR, but it's not like the uh, the silenced pistol or whatever that, like the tactical one, it's a different one. It's all silver and it shoots and reloads extremely fast and it has a little bit more recoil, I think, but I definitely like that pistol a lot too because I don't know, I just, I don't like fully automatic guns because you know, the AR isn't really that great. It's a lot better in this game than it is in other games, but still not the best. But I just, if you're going to have an accurate gun, just the faster it can shoot, I think the better, because this gun feels just as accurate as the DMR is, but with a higher fire rate. And obviously there's a reason for that. I think 
the developers, I think 343 knows that it's a better gun because there's only one spawn on the map for this gun as opposed to the DMR where there's, I think, two spawns on this map right next to either bridge. Um, and so, you know, it's smart and it's centered right behind the rocket. So both teams have an equal opportunity to get to it. But you know me for a lot and for a lot of power weapons, I struggle and I pick up the sniper later in this game and again, struggle with it. Uh, just ignore that whole like section because it's pretty embarrassing. But typically, sorry, my button layout right there, I meleeed. Um, not used to switching back and forth 100% yet, but it's definitely a lot smoother than before. But anyways, um, I think of this gun kind of like as a power weapon, I guess, because you have to pick it up. Like even the DMR, I guess I consider it more of a power weapon if it's just kind of sitting on the map. But I definitely am going to start using this one a lot more. Uh, I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. But that, uh, I guess, brings me in to a question I have of what do you guys think is probably the most slept on gun in... Let's just do Halo 5 for today. Um, what do you guys think is a gun that's really good that no one uses that you like using a lot? Because, you know, the main guns that everyone is always going for, rockets, obviously, the sniper rifle, um... Even like the plasma pistol is one that I find people are using a lot, green gun. Um, but I know there's got to be other guns in the game that are really good that people enjoy using. I know the uh, the pistol, I don't even know what it's called, it's been so long since I used it. But the pistol that fires the shots that are like they track you, um, not the needler obviously, but the orange one. I can't think of the name right now, but you know what I'm talking about. I've been killed quite a few times by people using that, so I know it's a gun that people like to use. Um, obviously, other power weapons like the sword and stuff like that, people always go for. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What's your favorite gun? And I'll give it a shot in some games if I, uh, if I come across it, because now after using this carbine, I'm like, holy cow, this, this thing's pretty awesome. So I need to expand my repertoire, if you will, of, of guns that I pick up that are just laying around the map. So, Because even, I'm just bad about picking up guns in general, especially in this game. Um, you know, in Halo 3 or Halo Reach, when you start off with like an AR, um, and that's all you, uh, not as much Halo Reach, because the, the pistol in Halo Reach is still pretty good. But let's just go with Halo 3. If you start off with an AR, you pretty much got two useless guns. And so, you know, being able to switch over to a gun that's better, that's laying on the map is important. But anyways, guys, sorry, uh, wasn't really paying attention at the time. That's the end of the video. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming out to the channel. Hope you have a good one. See you later.